If a buyer's use of a product violates public policy, can the seller still enforce the party's agreement and require the buyer to pay for the product? What if the seller knew about the buyer's improper use before making the sale? We explore those questions in the cheesy case, Blossom Farm Products Company versus Casson Cheese Company Incorporated. Isocapa case is used in cheese production. It can be used as a starter medium for cheese. It can also be used as a yield enhancer. Under federal and Wisconsin state law, cheese produced using isocapa case as a yield enhancer must be labeled as imitation cheese. It can't be branded as real cheese. Casson Cheese Company was a cheese producer. It purchased isocapa case from Blossom Farm Products. Although Casson used the isocapa case as a yield enhancer, it labeled its cheese as real cheese. Casson stopped using isocapa case after it received a warning letter from the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture. Casson refused to pay Blossom for the last shipment of isocapa case that it had received. Blossom sued Casson to recover the amount Casson owed for its last isocapa case shipment. A Blossom employee testified that the company knew Casson was using isocapa case as a yield enhancer. Moreover, Evidence in the record established that it wasn't economically viable for Casson to label its product as imitation cheese because of the price difference between real and imitation cheese. The trial court found that the party's agreement was unenforceable and dismissed the case. Blossom appealed to the Wisconsin Court of Appeals. Casson cross-appealed. 